Hey guys, it's LG Fishkeeping, and in this video today, I will be doing one of two things first. Um, I will be introducing you guys to my lizard Bartholomew. He is a crested gecko. He is one of my favorite animals that I have in my room um, area where I occupy uh, four tanks, two of which are reptilian and the other two are for aquariums with fish. So in this enclosure, which I have Bartholomew in, he is a crested gecko and he is uh, fairly new to me. Uh, he's probably, I would say, about six months old and he's really friendly, really nice, and really active and I definitely would recommend getting a crested gecko being so that they're so um, peaceful and so uh, nice and easy to care for. Uh, basically, all I feed him is a banana paste powder, which is uh, efficient because you don't have to keep buying like crickets, for example, for bearded dragons, which are uh, the common misconception that bearded dragons are uh, fairly easy and fairly cheap to take care for. But I found that Crested Gecko's uh, buying one container of food. It's just a little bit easier and it's, uh, it's really cool. So I will be introducing you guys to Bartholomew. So this is his vivarium and he normally hides in these leaves, if you guys can see. He'll probably jump. Yeah, this is Bartholomew. He is my crested gecko. He is a banana morph. Uh, he has a really pretty color to his back coat. He's always looking to jump. He has the yellow tail. Really beautiful eyes, if you can't wait to focus. Uh, yeah, he's always looking to jump. He's a really cool little guy. He just hangs out on my hand. Uh, he's really like docile and uh, I really enjoy him. I think he's a great little guy. And yeah, so that's Bartholomew. And I hope you guys like him. Here's his little face. He's always looking to jump. And if I put him back into his vivarium, he'll probably jump in. You guys watch. You guys see. Yep, there he goes. So that's Bartholomew for you guys. And now we move. Alright, guys, so in this part of the video, I will be showing you my African Kenyan sand boa. He is named David Bowie. He's a male. He is 13 inches right now, and he gets to be roughly 18 inches. So I will be showing you guys David Bowie. So as we come along here, you guys can see this is my snake. His name is David Bowie, kind of just hangs out. Again, he's a male, really pretty. Um, they spend most of their lives underground in the sand and or substrate and having them in uh, an aquarium, I mean in a terrarium, uh, you have to make sure you have at least three inches of Sand, oh, he's a little bit feisty. Probably doesn't want to be held right now. But um, he just shed. Uh, he's really pretty right now. Got this beautiful coat on him. Uh, he's orange and black, as you can see. Almost looks like a leopard. And he's always looking for a way to burrow. But yeah, he's so cute. Such a precious little guy. And I really like David Bowie. Oh, his little face. Oh, he's looking at the camera. He's saying, what's up, everyone? Hey, guys. How's it going? He loves to hide. But yeah, that's David. And I got David about a month ago. Got rid of my frogs and I got David. So, yeah. And I have a special surprise. In this video, we will be feeding David. So in here, I've heated up a pinky, and we're just gonna jump right into it. A pinky is a baby mouse, and it's actually frozen because David's been eating frozen food for a majority of his life. When I bought him, they said he was eating frozen, and it's hard to get snakes off anything other than frozen, if they've been introduced to frozen their whole time. See what he does? Yeah, you got it. And if you just shake it a little bit, he knows it's live. And he'll go and constrict over it. Yep. 
That's David. Look at that. That is a right on the head. Great bite, great attack. It's instinct for them, so. Yeah. Really beautiful, I love David. And actually, surprisingly, you can pick him up and it doesn't bother him too much while he's eating. So I can put him back in his enclosure while he has the mouse in his mouth. So, as I was talking about the substrate, it has to be three inches of substrate for them. There he's doing his little ball technique. But yeah, three inches of substrate for their enclosures so they feel like they are in their normal environment of constant burrowing and constant um, kind of uh, living their lives underneath the sand. So this is a nice little replication of what it's like for them in Africa, as you guys may see. And there he's just working on his food. Yeah, he'll be done with that in less than five minutes. Very fast eater, surprisingly. And yeah, so he gets one of those every two weeks. Um, so I was waiting to make the video, and I made it for you guys. So that's a nice little feeding video. Another update on the cichlids. Water clarity is just outstanding right now. So these are African Lake Mabuna cichlids. Um, doing fantastic. Um, really love that water. It's got it finally to look better, which is good. And to move along here, we have the awesome display tank. Pretty embarrassed to show you guys, but the water clarity has not been great in this tank. As you can see, it's really cloudy. It's almost like a white like film over it or like a milky color. Uh, that's actually due to uh, me leaving the lights off for two weeks because I saw this algae bloom and I started to think, oh God, that cannot happen in this tank. I cannot risk that. So I turned off the lights. I'm letting the lights kind of, uh, letting the uh, algae to be reduced. I'm probably not gonna turn the lights on for another, say, five days or so. I'm gonna leave it. Hopefully the water clears up. The red tail catfish is getting ginormous in there. I got the three peacocks. The two Oscars and the Tiger Shovel Nose. I'm not gonna talk too much about this tank. I'm gonna wait till it gets a little more cleared up and it looks a little bit better, but right now it looks like a cup of milk. Basically, it's like looking through a cup of milk. So it's really milky, but that's what happens when you turn off the lights, the algae and the tank is not used to it, but the fish are fine, everything's good in here. Just the tank does not look to the eye appealing. So that's that tank and if we move along, I will show you guys a new special tank. This tank is our new African sickle tank. So we have four blue and, and black striped Laguna cichlids that we got that are very little and four little yellow lab cichlids. So this is a 10 gallon Aquion setup. We have four yellow labs four blue and black striped Mabuna cichlids. These guys eat a mixture of Tetra cichlid fl uh, flakes, which keep the water really clear. As you can see, it's, it's different from the 55. This one actually looks presentable and uh, a little bit better. Uh, these guys hopefully will get big enough to go into the 29 gallon tank with the other cichlids. If not, we'll see if any of them die, but so far they're doing really well. They're very, very active and they're just beautiful fish, great fish to have. They're really hardy and they adjust to the tank nicely. So that's gonna conclude it guys and I will catch you guys on the next video. Peace out.